Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Skyrim After Hours. Continuing on with our run in the Dragonborn DLC, we've only played it for a couple of hours. We were, last time around, just entering a dungeon, a random dungeon that I had encountered. And I booted up the game, and I'm getting attacked. Look at this. I literally just started, and I'm getting attacked by a Reaver Marauder. I don't like that. Take this, and this, and this, and a hearty helping of this. And some this, and some of the extra this, and then for variety, take some of that. Alright, you're dead now. Fucking idiot. That's what you get for attacking me. I wasn't ready. I was booting up my goddamn game, I get attacked. Ooh, looks like they killed some people that were down here. High elves. And an Imperial. At least there's a lockpick on the Imperial, so it's not a waste. Cool. Pablo in nominates a dozen donuts for feasting with the king. Uh, that's pretty disgusting. I mean, at most, I think I could eat, like, two donuts ever. Can you imagine eating a dozen donuts? Fucking nasty. Then again, if they are Krispy Kreme, I'd probably eat two dozen. <laughs> there's no Krispy Kreme around here. They don't exist. Where I live, there's no Dunkin' Donuts, no Krispy Kreme, nothing, because Starbucks completely dominated the coffee market, so none of the donut shops are around. The only donuts here, it's called Top Pot Donuts. But they're very rare. Like, they're not common at all. You can't really find them around that much. <clears throat> Good evening, Devin. How are you? Welcome to the stream. By the way, Devin Bernstein, who has a name that's supposed to be a, a, a ripoff of Kevin Bernstein. It would be great if you could change your name to something unique. Because if you haven't noticed, Kevin hasn't even been around anymore. The meme's kind of dead. It would be nice if you could change it up. I'd appreciate that. Whoa, what happened? No. Evil Lord. Ah! Why did they walk in front of me? Oh! He froze his ass. The stagger on the sword is so ridiculously good. He couldn't even do anything. He couldn't do a damn thing. Just stood there and got destroyed. Lucky. So, the spell is good, but I need to have my magic leveled up. My magic is very low level. That's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to get, like, cheap levels now by using stuff that's low level. Whoa, what happened? Oh, there we go. I was going to do that execution. They took it back. It's like, rollback netcode in fucking Skyrim. <laughs> that would be impressive if there was the rollback netcode in Skyrim and took back your attacks like a fighting game online. That would be, uh, that would be a feat, to say the least. Why don't I open a Krispy Kreme in my area? Because I don't have any money to open a business. That's why. <clears throat> I mean, the powers, if you need I idea for third food on next Saturday, we can do Italian. See, I would like to do Italian, but here's the problem with that. Where I live, there's almost no good Italian restaurants. It doesn't exist out here on the West Coast. I'm serious. Like, right now, I can tell you there's two restaurants where they do serve Italian food, but they are either expensive or really far away. And even if they would deliver it, it might take so long to get here that the food would be cold and suck. There's, like, no good Italian out here whatsoever. At all. People out here in Washington State think Olive Garden is Italian food. I'm not exaggerating. They actually think that's legit. I'm not kidding you. There's fucking lines through the parking lot for people to get into Olive Garden every single weekend. It doesn't make any sense because they don't understand what real Italian is because it doesn't exist out here. So I wish, I wish there was good Italian out here. There's not. <clears throat> Zway has done the first contribution of the night, Super Chat. So make it a goal to play Amy again. Uh, fuck no. No, I stay away from terrible games now. It used to be that I would play every game and play the bad ones. I don't want to do that anymore. Because I am a streamer, and I have limited time to play stuff. It's not like I used to do where I could just play offline almost infinitely. But now I have a set schedule or whatever, right? And I also have a family now, let's be honest. I like to stick to stuff that actually is, uh, good. Good games, right? Okay. What the hell? Gold just sitting on the floor. Weird. Okay, so where are we? I lost my bearings now. Where are we in this cave? Uh, we were over here. We fought these people, right? There's an alchemy station right here. Nothing on it. Did we come in this way? We did, right? This is where we came in, I think. I think? Yes. Okay, so now let's... Get our bearings again, because I was walking in fucking circles. So there's definitely a deeper area of the cave. I'm not sure how to get into it. You can kind of see it. There's the alchemy alcove. Over here was the dead end. We killed the people here. It was just a dead end. Nothing in it, right? <clears throat> okay. So you go here. Okay, there's a door. 
but it doesn't open. So I'm guessing either there's a switch or this is a cave that we have to do from somewhere else. Because that's definitely a door. You can see it. But I don't think you open it from this side. This might be an exit from another another cave or another tomb or something. Or maybe there's a quest and then you can open it. So, so I guess this cave is kind of a bust. Remember, there was this one we had just randomly come across. <clears throat> oh, let's see here. Do a fried chicken feasting with the king if you haven't already. Did we do any fried chicken? Let me think about that. My stream title says March 5th. Oops. I guess I should fix that. It does say March 5th. Whoops. Whoopsie. Let's fix that. Thank you, for Jim, for telling me. No one else had even noticed. That's pretty funny. No one else had noticed. All right. So now we're at least in the right month. We're getting there. Did I ever do fried chicken? I don't think I did, right? I don't think I've ever done fried chicken at all on DSP Tries It now that I'm thinking about it. I think the only time I ever had fried chicken is if I had some Popeyes for DSP Tries It at one point. But it was never like formal fried chicken. And that, that, of course, everyone remembers the double down, right? What's up, Jay? Good evening. Okay. I do think everyone who has a parody name of another person should change their name. I do truly believe that. I think it's stupid to have a parody name of someone else. It's obviously trying to make fun of them, right? I don't think that anyone should be having parody names on them to begin with. It's dumb. It's not like it's a parody celebrity name. We're making a parody of a real person. You know, that's messed up. I've always said, it was always in my streaming rules that impersonation of other people is, is not allowed. Damn, that was a good stab. Holy shit! <laughs> Whoa! Holy backhand. I don't even know where his body... Damn, is that it? That was a hell of a backhand. Fuck. Get destroyed, man. So where are we on the map? <clears throat> okay. Um. How the hell did we get this, this far north? Wait a minute. Weren't we... How did we get this far north? Because I thought we were heading east. We were. Oh, let's go back to this borrow and start heading east. I don't even know how we got this far this way. Yes, see, I get this. Hobo X says, I don't think that having a parody name means you're making fun of them. Think about like, how all the Carl derivatives were. Right, but at the very same time, you got to understand something. If the original person is gone, why keep the fucking name that's supposed to be a parody of them? Kevin is gone. He hasn't shown up in days. I don't know if he's ever going to show up ever again. The way that he abruptly left after he got called out on stream, he may never come back. So why keep fucking parody names? Just fucking make something original and new and be yourself and stop trying to fucking bite off of someone else or copy someone else or be, be annoying, right? Just cut that shit out. Take this, you ass hopper, fuck. Yo, he turned tail. Did you see that? I hit him with the spell. He turned around and tried to run away. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Has it been five days already? Damn. Called out for what? Well, what happened was it was a few days ago, and Kevin was on the stream, and an anonymous tip came in. Okay? And it was a good one. It was a good, sizable tip, very supportive. And I was like, thank you so much to the anonymous tipper. And Kevin goes, oh, that was me. That was me. I was like, oh, okay, then thank you, Kevin. And then I looked, and it was funny because he had already called out being a tipper previously on other nights. And I was like, Kevin, I don't know, man, because the email address that I'm seeing that PayPal tip come in from is not the email address from the other night that you said was also you, so what's going on? And he literally says on stream, he goes, oh, so you can see information associated with, with, with tips? I said, yeah, I've always said all I can see is an email address. That's all I get. I don't get a name. I don't get any other information. I just see an email address. So that's how I get the feeling that you're lying about it. And I don't know why you would do that because that's not cool. And he goes, oh, and he dips. He dip disappears and never came back. <laughs> and that was fine, like, like a few days ago. So I get the feeling like uh, after getting his spot blown up for lying, which it seems like he was, I think he decided to get out of here. <laughs> I'm glad to hear this is your favorite night stream, Jay. I love I love playing Skyrim. To... <laughs> <clears throat> Why would I send Kevin an email saying I'm sorry? Sorry for what? He lied to me on stream. <laughs> Why 
Why would I say I'm sorry? What are you talking about? Does everything always have to be, I, I offended someone? Dude, I stated a fact on a stream and he didn't even say anything. He just left. Why would I apologize? You're, you're out of your mind. Oh, man. How do I get up there? The fuck do I get in here? Here? No, don't put the sword away. Jump in. Jump the fuck in there. Ah! Come on, how am I stuck? There we go. There we go. Damn, what the fuck? That didn't look right at all. Ooh, I need the silver ore. That's good. I need silver ore. I absolutely would accept Kevin's apology if he apologized. Yes. Christian says, in your original playthrough of the Dragonborn DLC, when you first met Maroc, the audio in the game cut out for the whole cutscene. <laughs> Great. Back when it was very, very, uh, polished, huh? Devin says, was the tip from another person or someone you didn't know? He was explaining in the chat he had the tip under a different account that day. Maybe that's why you didn't recognize him. No, okay. Allow me to explain again, because people are so fucking paranoid about tipping, which is so dumb, okay? When you tip me, okay, you gotta use a PayPal account. It's the only way to do it. When you do that, whatever Magic. email address... Uh-oh. That's where we're supposed to... Oh, this is where we're supposed to go for the mission. Lord Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! Okay, there's a lot of assholes here. All right, hold on. When you tip someone via PayPal, okay, the only thing the person receiving the tip sees is an, a, an email. I get an email, and the email says... Someone at this email address has has sent this amount of funds. That's all it says. It doesn't say your name. It doesn't say your location. It says nothing at all. Zero information. Same thing if you look at your transaction history. In PayPal, it's the same exact thing. The only thing I'll ever see is an email address. That's it. Okay? So, is the game volume too loud? Is it too loud? I'll lower it a little bit. Um, So, that night, what happened was... Pre previously that week, Kevin had tipped, okay? Or said he had tipped. And he said, oh, this tip is from me. So I knew the email address that was going to be coming for, for his tips. Like, he, I know the email address associated with his PayPal account because he had already tipped before, okay? Oh, I don't have it yet. I have to go in here. Okay. So then... When he tipped again, I wanted to confirm, and it was a completely different address and account. And I, that's when I said, now, he, if this was the truth, and if he was like, okay, you know, kind of telling the truth, okay, he's tipping under different accounts, wouldn't he have just said that? Why would he have asked, oh, you can actually see that information and then leave and never come back, right? <laughs> Devin, if Kevin told you that he lied, or he doesn't understand how PayPal works, and he set it up to do that, and he was wrong... It does not. PayPal does not, under any circumstance, show your full legal name unless, number one, all right, you put that information into PayPal, and number two, you set it up to show it. You have to actually actively have it show. Like right now, all right, if I were to send money from my PayPal account to somebody else, all it would say is you received a payment from, and then my email address. That's it. It wouldn't show my name or anything because that's how I have it set up. Now, is it possible to have it all set up the other way? Yes, it is, because here's the thing. Some people use PayPal to make payments on things like eBay. They make a transaction with PayPal, and they want someone to ship them the item, like, right away. So what you do is you put all your information into your PayPal, so when you buy something with eBay, right, then immediately someone knows where to send it, okay? Here we go. Get in there. Cool. So, yeah, the only way I would ever see anyone's personal information is if you set it up to send me your information, in which case that's your fault, right? And obviously, I don't want anyone's personal info. I don't want to know your real name. I don't want to know where the hell you live. I don't care. I don't care. Why would I give a shit about that? <clears throat> okay. Hobo X says, normal accounts cannot hide names. That's wrong. You can When you register your PayPal account, okay, this is so ridiculous. And people are so still misinformed about this shit. When you create a new PayPal account, all right, it's going to ask for all of your personal information. You're going to be sending funds through there. Of course, they want to make sure you're real. It's not a scam and you're not laundering money or whatever. So they're going to ask you for your name. They're going to ask you for your address. They're going to ask you for your bank account information or other pay payment information. Like, how are you going to send money? They're going to ask for a credit card. They're going to ask for all that shit. 
okay? Yes, PayPal will always have that information. Why wouldn't they? But they're not going to give that information to someone you send money to. That would be fucking identity issue, man. That would be a, a complete safety issue. You could sue the shit out of them for it. Can you imagine that if PayPal just decided one day, we're going to send out everyone's information who re registered with us? It would be an insane class action lawsuit. They lose millions of dollars. Like, why do people believe this nonsense? <clears throat> I don't get the people who are so gullible to believe the bullshit that people make up about stuff. Seriously. Get out of my freaking way. I'm trying to cast a spell. I can go. Oh, he fell. Did it hit him or not? I don't think it did. Okay. What the hell's going on now? <clears throat> Jim says, what about American-style barbecue? We could do that. I mean, then again, it'd be like doing double barbecue. So I don't know how fun, how much fun that would be. Because I just did barbecue. So I don't know if people want to see barbecue again, right? We're talking about feasting with the king now. Change the subject here. <clears throat> no, I've never played an Omnimusha. Omnimusha. Onimusha. I can't even say it. I can't say it, and I never played it. I never played anything in Onimusha, Ellipsian. <clears throat> JG, I haven't missed anything. We just started, and we were, we were going to this uh, base uh, to, I guess, do the mission. I guess there's a guy holed up in here we need to fight for a mission. It's supposed to be the guy who was, like, 400 years old or something. No, I agree, too. I'd rather do a different cuisine, too, than another barbecue, right? Absolutely. Ah, okay. So now we go down. Let's see what's down here. Come on, level up for one-handed. Level 50 is definitely not the max, which is good. I don't need these ores. I need gold, silver, and ebony. Those are the three ores I need to pick up. What the hell's in the spider door? Looks like there's a cave going down. <clears throat> Master lock. <clears throat> All right, Alfred, if you contradict me one more time, I'm just going to ban you. I mean it. You should call me a liar. I fucking use PayPal, and when I send p money, people don't get my name. So you're in, you're an idiot. <laughs> God, people are dumb. You are wrong. I don't care if you think you're right. You're wrong. Just because you don't know how to use woman. PayPal doesn't mean that, you, that I'm wrong. It means you're an idiot. Now stop being stupid and trying to contradict me on my own stream. Come on, get out of my way, though. Come on! Come on! <laughs> he won't stop dancing. <clears throat> okay, he finally moved. Jeez. Hoi, yoi, yoi. We got other places to go. We can go. Damn, there's a bunch of ways to go. You go down there. You go in here. Oh, we don't have the key for that. So we either go down there or we go into the spider room. I guess we'll go to the, maybe the spider room first, but oops. But let me quick save first. <clears throat> Shout out to Haseo, who is our first tipper of the night. He says, you mentioned about doing a Summer of Retro. Is that something you still want to do? Summer doesn't have any, many or too many new games. Or will that change when we hear about new gaming news? I mean, I'm not going to commit to anything. I tell you this, I want to play a retro game during the summer. I'm not saying I'm doing an entire Summer of Retro. But I would like to do at least, you know, some kind of significant summertime retro playthrough. Um, it's been a while since I went back and played a retro game like that. Uh, and I'm talking real retro. I'm not talking, oh, Resident Evil 4 like I did in January. I'm talking real retro from, like, the 90s. <clears throat> you know, a game from my childhood kind of a deal. 
So that's what I'm talking about. All right, Alfred, you're out of here, you dumb fuck. Seriously, he's just here to contradict me, so goodbye. Nice telling me to call me a liar. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, that really got you far calling me a liar, didn't it? You fucking idiot. Spider eggs. Oh. Flame cloak spider. These are unique. These are new. Flame cloak. Albino spider. Oh, there's new spider types. New spider types. What is this? Ruby geode. I don't need that. <clears throat> Shit. Spider. Oh, they killed that. I didn't even need to do that. Oh my god, I have like no health. What happened? Where did my fucking health go? I almost died. Game continues, huh? Or not, it's a dead end. Ah, uh, anything in here? No. So, the only point to this cave is if you want to mine this ore. This is the heartstone. The heartstone, if you remember, we had found uh, over at the Vampire Manor. There is a device there that I think we could craft our own staffs using heartstones. I think that's what it was. So now they're giving you a way to get heartstones here in the DLC. I don't really care about that, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, good evening to TX Shooter. <clears throat> TX Shooter 50. The super chat says, hello, Phil. I'm glad to be on stream. It's glad to have you, TX Shooter. You know what we could do? All right. Here's something. Here's an idea. We could do Poke. Do you guys know what poke is? Jade, I don't know what you mean by that. Not, I'm not a fan of this, but I love this. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. But anyway, um, do you know what poke is? So poke is all the rave out here in Washington State right now because it's Asian cuisine. Asian cuisine is huge here. So what it typically is, it's is it, oh, I'm pronouncing it wrong. What is it? Poke, 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 pokey, pokey bowl. Is it pokey bowl? I thought it was poke bowl. Maybe it's pokey bowl. I don't know. <clears throat> I believe they're of Hawaiian origin. Um, and what it is is rice, a rice-based bowl with anything you really want. You can get raw fish. You can get some cooked fish. You can get other ingredients in there. Usually, it's a good variety of, of veggies and things mixed into it. And I've only had a one ever. And there's a ridiculous amount of varieties of them that you can get. So it would basically be something new and interesting for me because I've only had one ever in my life. All right? <clears throat> Is it Poke Bowl? Poke Bowl? I thought it was Poke Bowl, but it's Poke Bowl. Poke Bowl, gotta eat them all. The raw ingredients, they taste delicious. Yes, they do. <laughs> I consider Jamaican. There is a restaurant. Am I right? How do you pronounce it? Is it Poke Bowl or Poke Bowl? I don't know how to pronounce. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. Um. There is a restaurant out here. They're not necessarily Jamaican, but it is, it's supposed to be like Caribbean-style food, but it's probably more Americanized. I could get food from there. Um, They do things like like Jamaican jerk chicken, uh, plantain variation dishes, and things like that. I could do something like that. But it is more Americanized. I don't think it's authentic. <clears throat> Will Cal play the quarry game? Likely not. She doesn't play those kind of games usually, no. Kevin Key says po Poke Bowls are expensive and sometimes hit or miss because they could be small and terrible. Oh, I see. So Jade does not necessarily like Skyrim, but he loves the chill streams. Gotcha. I get it, Jade. Awesome. And it's always good to have you on the chill streams. Oh, I'm glad I, I found these nice bloody rags in here. What would I like in my Poke Bowl? See, I don't even know. I probably want to try some, some different shit that normally I wouldn't eat. Something raw, maybe. Some raw fish or something that normally I wouldn't eat and see if I like it. Right? Because usually I don't eat raw, raw meat at all. But I think if it's prepared properly, the raw fish could be quite tasty. A knapsack? Oh, I found the key. Sweet. That's what I was looking for. Immortal blood. <clears throat> Ildari's journal? Who the fuck is Ildari? Been a month since unearthing the crypt at Fort Frostmaw. I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general's remains. Grafting the heartstone to the subject is proving much more difficult. So someone came in here... And resurrected the general. Yeah, look, General Carius woke fully today. Someone came in here and resurrected the general. Absolutely. I'm going to take that. It might be... Is it a quest item? It might be a quest item I need. 
Huh. <clears throat> That's true. They do have salmon, right? I think they have tuna, salmon, all these different kinds of raw fish you can get in like a poke ball. I'm pretty sure. What's up, turtle dude? Good evening. How are you, man? Good to see you. Guys, if you are chilling with me and having a good time on the live stream, please consider giving it a like. Currently, we're at 40 likes. With over uh, 200 viewers, it'd be great if we can get those numbers up. Help up for engagement. If you're watching my ongoing Skyrim play... Holy Ebony Sword? Why is it holy? Holy Ebony Sword. I don't think I've even seen a holy Ebony Sword. Undead up to level 40 will flee for 30 seconds. Ah, it's shitty. Yeah, I'm just going to drop it. I don't even want it. Um... Yes, if you are watching live, please get, consider giving the stream a like. If you're watching On Demand on YouTube, the ongoing playthrough, and you've been really enjoying this, ever since I've been doing this, it's December and still ongoing. Please remember, if you give these videos likes, if you... What is that, wine? Oh, it's mead. Yeah, if you like the videos, if you leave comments on the videos, it helps a ton for engagement on YouTube, and also, it would really uh, be awesome if you could take a look at the new Super Thanks feature that is now available on DSP Gaming, where you can actually attach a highlighted message with a contribution uh, to a video. That would help a lot, and thank you to anyone who considers doing it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Devon Bernstein, who's another take on Kevin, if you don't change your name and stop talking about him, I'm just going to ban you now. How about that? There you go. <clears throat> Jim says, I heard Seattle is a big vegetarian or vegan culture. That would be interesting. I'm, I'm pretty sure if I really wanted to, I could find a vegetarian restaurant. I have never really eaten at one. But I probably could find one. That's probably the general right there. How much you want to bet? He said, oof. Oof. Stagger the general. He's supposed to be a boss. And he can't stop getting staggered. Oh my god. Did you see that bullshit? I died to bullshit. I absolutely died to bullshit. For some reason, I lost all of my health. Like, literally all of it. What? It even hit me. I don't even know what happened. Fucking stupid shit. Completely dumb. I hate when that shit happens. Why did I lose my whole health bar with, like, one hit? I'm destroying everything in the room. All of a sudden, you're instantly dead. What the fuck? No, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Why is she keep stepping in front of me? Let me fight. You be careful, you fucking idiot. Get that fuck out of my way. I'm trying to kill the enemies. Lord knows you're not doing it. Ugh. Okay. Let's try this again. all of his strikes. I guess for some reason he's a very heavy hitter, but I avoided every single strike. <clears throat> Christian says there's a new shot called Dragon Aspect in the DLC. It's good, but you can only use it once a day in the game. Hmm. I certainly have not found it yet. Have any ore? I will definitely take that. I need it. So, let's see what he's got. A oh, I, the key which I already have, and the Champion's Cudgel. Or is it Kujal? 50% chance for each element, fire, frost, and shock to do 25 points of damage every hit. Huh. Pretty good. That is pretty good. 
In fact, I would say that might actually be better than the other two-hander that I was using, Volen Room, right? Champ it's called Champion's Cudgel. If I, if I upgrade it at the Forge, I think this will be better because it has elemental damage. The other thing just drains stamina. I don't care about that. Give him an extra elemental damage. That's I think that's a better weapon. <clears throat> so I might go back and, and trade in my Vulin Room and get rid of it. Because it kind of sucks. Alright. Okay. If you disenchant it, you can use it on all other weapons. Really? It's an enchantment you can use on a lot of weapons, huh? Silver ingot, need that. Death brand, the hell's that? Book of riddles. She talks a lot, doesn't she? She's really gabby. These one time at the band camp, I sat down and spun, and my butthole was, <laughs> my butthole was sore for three weeks. No one cares. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, where are we now? I think we did the mission, right? Return to Captain Veleth. Okay, we have to return to it. Wait, where is he? Way over here. Okay. Over here? What's he doing here? He wasn't here before. We met him out in the out in the fort. I guess he came back to town now. Here he is. Yep, that's him. <clears throat> what news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? I killed General Carius. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over two hundred years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carius' exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. He'll no longer send Ash spawn to Raven Rock. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. <clears throat> 7,500 gold. That's huge. Oh, man. What's that armor you're wearing? <clears throat> ah, this is bone mold armor. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? It's fashioned from actual bone that's been reinforced with a resin-like material and then shaped to form the armor plating. It might appear brittle, but I'd wager it could stop the blow of a weapon better than iron or steel. Interesting. Thank so obviously this is good armor probably from this area. Alright, so... We had gone a little bit north and explored, right? We had gone south and east and explored. Maybe now what we should do is we should go from this fort and head a direction, like head north or head east and see what else we could run into. Because there's probably a lot more quests and stuff, right? So let's go back to Fort Frostmaw. <clears throat> why am I banning that guy? Because he referenced the fucking Holocaust. That's why. So he can get the fuck out of my chat. He's a fucking racist shithead. There you go. Because obviously he's an asshole. He's just trying to stir up trouble. I'm not stupid. <clears throat> Hello, X Kazder. How are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. That is a big mushroom, it looks like, off in the distance, right? Looks like a mushroom. Ginormous mushroom. In fact, there's an icon for it. And it's a huge mushroom. So I guess that's what it is. What's going on down here? What the hell? Whoa, what the frick is that? I really miss traveling like this. Walking the breadth of sky. What am I looking at? Always filled my heart with excitement. It looks like ice and fire are fighting each other, but there's nothing there. What the hell? That's weird. Is that it? That's it on the map. It's a giant mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Carlos, of course. He says, it seems like things never change. There's always some people trying to throw the stream off. You're absolutely right. Always right. Always asshole. The world will never be purged of all its assholes. There's just too many of them. You have to band together and really, like, do a concerted effort to get rid of the assholes. 
When you cut off one asshole's head, it's like a hydra. 27 more assholes pop up in place of the asshole. So, it's usually not worth it. Just ignore, ignore them and ban them. Okay. I'd be gone too. No, I'm not an asshole. I'm a dick. I'm not an asshole. I'm a dickhead. I'll admit that I'm not perfect, but I'm definitely a dickhead. That is a cool volcano, man. I wonder if you can get there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. It's the... Oh, it's the the walker thing from uh, Morrowind. It's the fast travel creature. In Morrowind, you can't just fast travel on foot. You have to use one of those creatures. I wonder if you can, if you can uh, ride that thing. What are you? What the shit? Spriggan. A burnt Spriggan. What's funny is this sword is only supposed to stagger on bash attacks, but it staggers with every hit. Like, the Spriggan can't even move. Shout out to Bruzy, who became a channel supporter tonight. Thank you very much, Bruzy, for the support. I appreciate that. Junk. There is a bridge going to it. Can we... Uh, let me go over here. It's not an enemy, right? Hello. A Nyx Hound. Hello. Okay. Is there anyone around here to talk to? Why is this thing just sitting here by itself? This is odd. Oh! Oh, that's my... Oh, is this the guy? Revis Sarvani. From that look on your face... I'm guessing you've never seen a Silt Strider before. No, actually I have. I, I was just referencing Morrowind. It was a pretty cool creature. This is Dusty. Dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in traveling condition for quite a while now. I'll try to let her go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. How do you survive out here? We get bar trading odds and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silk Striders are pretty rare. Now. Oh, are they now? Now they're rare. They used to be very common in Morrowind. <clears throat> I can buy it for 400 gold? I bought it. Teleport Pet Nixhound. What would you like to know? Why are they so rare? What were they used for? Enough about this. All right. Wait a minute. Did I just buy the Nyx Hound? I bought it. It's a new pet. The Nyx Hound is a new pet from the DLC. Wait for me at home. So he's going to go. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Oh, you get to select where you send it. Let's send it to Hendraheim. So I got a new pet, the Nyx Hound. I wonder what it does, because each pet in the game has a specific function. And I wonder what the Nyx Hound does. <clears throat> huh. Jim says, what about Costco cuisine? There is no way, Jim, that I would pay to have Costco cuisine delivered to my house. <laughs> it's not even serious restaurant quality cuisine. There's no way I'm doing that. That's crazy talk. All right, so here's this giant mushroom thing. What the hell is it? A mushroom, mushroom. It's a mushroom town. Why are you out here? Aren't you supposed to be in the tower of the summoning work? Tell Mithrin discovery. Trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. Now let me concentrate. Besides, shouldn't you be worrying about the damage to the tower? Master Nelloth has tasked Alenya with repairing the tower. Why aren't you doing this in the lab, where it would be safer for all of us? The, uh, the lab is too small. Also, I need the ashy soil. Master Nelloth knows what Ashy? No need to bother him about it, though. He's quite busy at the moment. It's on your head if something goes wrong. Let me get oh, back inside Ashgar. first. Maybe the book has something. We don't get many visitors. Is there something you need? Jade says I play, I'm playing M MK Deception to 11. I never played any of the ones from the 2000s, so I never played Deception. But I only played 9, 10, and 11 with the three recent ones I played. Uh, I never had a Costco hot dog suck a surprise, so I can't say it's good. Yes, this is the last pet that I got since the pet rabbit. 
Yeah. Okay. What is this place? <clears throat> Tell Mithrin. It's the home of Master Naloth. You may have heard of him. He's a famous Telvanni wizard. He lives in a giant mushroom? In Morrowind, the Telvanni grow buildings from special fungus spores. Oh, nice. Master Neloth grew one here to be his home. Don't ask me how. <laughs> Are you one of Nellis' apprentices? No. Talvis is his apprentice. I'm his steward. I manage the day-to-day -day affairs of Telmithras. Until next time. Sense. Okay. What about this guy? Just ignore that. I don't think you belong. He needs a heartstone. Does Master Neloth know about you? What's a heartstone? Heartstones are only found on Solstheim, as far as I know. Uh -huh. Master Neloth believes they may be fragments from inside Red Mountain that were flung here during the huge eruption 200 years ago. <laughs> Carlos says, do you like the Dark Elves more in this than in uh, Morrowind? Because in Morrowind, they were full of themselves. I don't think I've spent enough time in the DLC to make a judgment yet. Let's we'll see. Are you practicing a spell? Yes, I'm trying to summon an Ash Guardian. I'm just having trouble deciphering Master Neloth's handwriting. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to concentrate. Oh, so you won't do anything. You're just gonna fucking stand here like an asshole. Maybe I would have given you a heartstone, but since you're a dick, you can go fuck yourself. Who's this? Is this the steward, or is this someone else? I'd better tell Verona to bring apples and cabbage from Raven Rock. Wow. Well, I don't know which one we go in. There's three entrances. Do we go into the main one? So in Morrowind, a lot of the buildings uh, are mushrooms. We're going to our first one here in Skyrim. Mushroom building. Uh, Expand Dogs, the new trailer just dropped for the new Mario Strikers game. Cool. I have, to, I have to see if I can see it. It's only in Japanese, though. The House of Troubles. A lot of stuff around, but none of it is any good. I don't think that I would want. I know the books I would want to read. Is that the guy right there? Probably. Can't unlock that without a key. His books suck. You read shitty books. I need better books that are going to give me training points. Here he is. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. Okay. I don't recall inviting you into my tower. I do hope you make this worth my while. Bruzy is wondering if I'm going to check out Diablo Immortal. I think that's the Diablo Mo uh, 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 the Diablo Mobile game, right? I don't know. I'll have to see. That game is so effing addicting. I don't know if I would want to mess with it. I might get, I might be fucking nonstop playing it. Diablo is, si is sickeningly addicting. Okay, what is this building? This is a Talvani Tower. It's my citadel. Grown from the spores of the giant fungus trees found in Morrowind. Back in the homeland, there are other Telvani wizards that have them as well. Jade, what is your favorite Mortal Kombat since you're saying you've played Deception to Eleven? What was your favorite one out of all those? For me, it was Nine. <clears throat> How would I stream a mobile game? Uh, you have to find a way to capture from a mobile device. Like, you have to find a... Uh, a way to convert the video signal. I'm sure that there's a way. You've probably an adapter or something you can buy. Tilvani? What are the Tilvani? The Tilvani are the master wizards of Morrowind. Aha. Uh -huh. The greatest of us grow magical towers like this one from the mighty fungus trees. Together we form House Tilvani, one of the great houses of Morrowind. The great houses rule what is left of our once proud. Oh, Jade, like, 10 and 11. I like 9 more because it rebooted everything and it had all the classic versions of the Mortal Kombat characters. I really like that. Uh, as the Archmage of Winterhold, you and I should share our secrets. Winterhold? That small college that is falling into the Sea of Ghosts? Uh, You're the one that recovered the Staff of Magnus. Impressive. Talvis should finish his apprenticeship in a couple of decades. Uh -huh. see me then. I think I could teach you a trick or two. Well, that's it. The ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I need to uncover. Oh, uh, can I help you with your research? Maybe there's a quest line involved? Hmm. <clears throat> I do have a new spell I'm working on. I hope to be able to conjure ash spawn. 
If I could get a sample of ash from an ash spawn, that would be quite useful. I have it. So I've Carlos, or, excuse me, Selden Shadow says this guy was actually in Morrowind. What the hell? How's he still alive? <clears throat> of course, the creature will have to be dead first, but I trust that's something you can bring about. You mean ash extractor? I already have ash, though. I guess maybe I have to go kill more. Okay. I have to go oh, kill more ash I... spawn and extract oh, the ash with yeah. this extractor. My mother was Tilvani research. There it is. Okay. She's, the one who instructed me She's still talking, isn't she? Techniques. Oh my god. Can you imagine? I could imagine if you keep your lips shut for more than five minutes. She's blah, 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 blah. Did you know that my uncle on my cousin's second removed side had three nipples? No, I don't give a fuck. Could you please keep your mouth shut? Oh, Jim says, I looked it up. If you have an iPhone, Apple makes lightning to HDMI adapter and it probably plugs right into your regular capture device. Maybe, but how much do you want to bet it has that freaking HDCP shit. Because they don't want people just ripping video off your phone. You've got to so. help me. Ah! I conjured an Ash Guardian and now it's running amok. Oh boy. I bet you probably have to use a HDCP bypass setup. Because I probably would block the signal. Oh, let's see here. I can destroy the Ash Guardian for you. Thank you. I was hoping it would. Hurry. I'll keep Master Neloth distracted. Okay, where did he go? Where is Master Neloth? Is that the Ash Guardian right there? Hit me with sand. Time to stagger it. Okay, this sword just endless stagger. It can't, you think enemy can't fight? Look, he can't do nothing now. He's stuck. He's gonna be stuck forever until he dies. Beautiful. Shit, his body went flying. I needed to loot that thing. I guess you can't. Yeah, I guess you can't loot that thing. Damn. I think we're fucking flying. <laughs> RetroX says, would streaming a cell phone game be fun? Personally, I can't stand touch controls. I guess it would depend. I've actually heard, I haven't played any of them, but I've heard that there actually are full-fledged cell phone games. Like, you play full-fledged RPGs and shit on there. Like, actual, like, turn-based RPGs and stuff. And if they actually play like real RPGs, yeah, why wouldn't that be valid, right? You got a console in your hand. Although, admittedly, it would probably be a fucking energy beast because these fucking cell phones, if you're using them, they die within a few hours usually, right? You gotta have it plugged in. And how you have it plugged in if you have an adapter to pull video out of it? Then you can't have it plugged in, right? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really too concerned about it. I'm not planning on doing it, so. <clears throat> Wait a minute, is this the steward's house? I went to the wrong house. Shit, I did. I barged into her house she's asleep. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. Kagome, you have a good night. <clears throat> this was where I wanted to go. This one. That's r that is right. They are making a World of Warcraft mobile game. I don't know what it's going to be. I did hear about that. Wait, I'm in the wrong building again? What the fuck? Why can't I find the main door? I can't find the main entrance to the place. Right here. How did I walk by it twice? Here we are. No, I did not know that they make gaming style phones. <laughs> I did not know that. dealt with the Ash Guardian? Yes. What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I can't pay you, but I could teach you the Ash Guardian spell. Although, maybe that doesn't sound like a good idea to you after this. I do have a staff I could give you instead. If you think the Ash Guardian spell is too risky. No, I'll take the spell. I'm a conjurer all right. after all. But remember, don't cast this without a heart stone. Otherwise, the Guardian will attack everyone including you. 
Uh, cool. Last Frontiers. What do you think about Gotham Knights? I'm a huge DC fan. I'm excited for it. Will you do a playthrough? The answer is yes. I'm going to check it out. Yes, I am. I've got it. I already have That's a Hearthstone. Right. Or I had one. You I don't like know if me, I still have it on me. The hard way. Here's the spell tome and a Hearthstone so you can try it safely. Uh -huh. Carlos says that the Elder Scrolls community has a huge community of modders. Uh, uh, not only have they ported Morrowind to open source, there's a project to update Morrowind to the Skyrim engine in progress right now. Interesting. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. I should mine up some hard stones. The Ash Guardian counts as a separate, uh, a separate conjuration, and you can summon two things at once with it. Oh. What went wrong with the Ash Guardian spell? No, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast properly. I didn't have one with me when I cast it. If you cast the spell without a heart stone, it attacks anything in sight. Um. J JM Daytome, my, my apologies if I said your name wrong. Tip the dollar fifteen says knowledge is power. Thank you for the tip. And then Jay Hale just tipped ten dollars. Biggest contribution of the night so far. He says, anyway, to give memberships yet, I want to see you respond to the Rainbow Howard podcast. What is the membership requirement for fifty users? Uh yes, we're trying to hit four fifty, and sadly there's no way to gift yet. There's not. Um YouTube claimed that it was on the way last year. Apparently they're still testing it. Someone came in here the other night and said, even if it does launch. It's nothing like Twitch. Like, you can only gift one at a time. You can't drop, like, a like a gift bomb of memberships like you can on Twitch. You have to manually send the, the offer to a user, and the user has to manually accept it. It's not automatic where you say, oh, I'm just going to gift memberships, and they just go. Like, people have to manually accept the offer and stuff. Apparently, it's a very complicated, convoluted process. All right, then. Thank you for the tip, J. Hale, because it was very slow so far tonight. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to hit 450. We, we were at 410. When this one started, we were at 410. And then we dipped down to where we are now. You know. Danny Summers did a super chat. Said, love from Canada. Raise your arms for this energy. All right. Thank you very much, Danny. The super chat. What the hell was that noise? Phil Smokes Crack has done a $12 tip, says I'm watching you eating chicken burritos. Wait, you're watching me and you're eating chicken burritos. You're not watching me eating a chicken burrito. I don't think I've ever eaten a chicken burrito on stream. I was a little confused there for a second. Well, I hope your chicken burrito is good. Happy Cinco de Mayo to you. I had, uh, I had a, a Mexican-themed dinner for Cinco de Mayo, but no one has asked me yet about it, so I haven't talked about it. Thank you. That's now the biggest contribution of the night, Phil Smokes Crack. Again, appreciate that, because it was a slow night. Thank you guys for your contributions. <clears throat> okay. Um, Let's see here. Oh, my nose is itching. So, now we're back to collect ash from an ash spawn. We have to go get an ash spawn to spawn. Okay. Carlos, I don't know how it works on YouTube. He says, do, do memberships expire at the end of the month or 30 days? It's not end of the month. It's it's definitely probably four weeks. I would think like 28 days from when you become a member. I think that's when it expires. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's worth four weeks. <coughs> Jim says, I honestly think the gifted system might be better than Twitch's. I remember Twitch would often give random subs to people not even in chat, and I would never get one. So I just used Prime. Yeah, what it would do, you're right. I don't I don't know. Actually, I have no idea what the criteria was that Twitch would use. Um I because definitely there were times when people would gift a ton of subs, and like everyone in chat already was subbed. So it's like who is it gifting the sub to? I don't know how that would work at all. That's right, Bruzy. So now he wants to know what we have for dinner. My wife may listen to this. A Tex Mex soup. Featuring. Who's this? <clears throat> Who are you? Yes, sir. Oh, it's a guy I already talked to. All right. A Tex Mex soup featuring chicken, tomatoes, black beans, diced onion, some delicious tomato base. And what I mean by that is. It was a chicken, chicken broth, no, chicken stock plus tomato soup, like combined. Um, roasted corn, and then some picante sauce added in there. And the picante sauce has peppers and all kinds of stuff in it. Okay. Um, 
So, and then we bought little tortilla strips to put in it. And, you know, you eat it with it. Ladies and gentlemen, first time my wife has ever made this. She never attempted it before. She even said she adjusted the spice a little bit because she wanted it to have a little bit of a spicy kick. That was one of the best soups I've ever had in my life. It was incredibly good. And we have a ton of leftover, which we saved because I absolutely, my wife and I want more this week. It is so effing good. I, I don't know what recipe she, where she found it, but yeah, she basically did the recipe and, and tweaked it a little bit. She kept tasting it, seasoning it to make it a little better, a little better. It was ridiculously, ridiculously good. Because because here's why. No cheese, no cream, low fat. I mean, sodium, of course. Any soup is going to have sodium in it. But outside of that, it was probably pretty darn healthy. It was a lot of the different vegetables. And I like vegetables in soup. So it was like a, a good variety of veggies plus the chicken, white meat chicken, low fat, you know, and all these cool seasonings and everything. It was ridiculously good. I was like, wow, this is like an insanely good soup. And I demanded, I didn't, I didn't ask. I demanded, I said, I said, you have to keep this recipe because we have to keep eating this. It's so good. I want to eat it, you know, as a regular meal that we're going to have Tex-Mex soup from now on. And she said, well, first of all, she was very happy because when she cooks, she wants me to enjoy it. And, you know, sometimes she tries a recipe and it comes out really effing good. And sometimes you try a new recipe and it's not that good. It's good, but it's not like amazing. Sometimes you try a recipe, it's a dud, right? You never know. When you're trying a new recipe, you don't know how it's going to be. So <clears throat> she was very happy that I liked the recipe. But then she immediately punched me straight in the nose. And she says, don't you ever demand anything ever again. I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. She was actually very happy. And she says, yes, she will add it to our rotation of meals. Oh, boy. She says she'll add it to our rotation of meals to do in the future. Jesus. Ah! You fucker. Come over here. Get food. Oh, fuck! Highway man. You're not a highway man. Fuck you! My way or the highway, man. Ow. Oh. oh, you wanna fucking shock me, huh? Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. See what he did? How much damage he did? I hate that shit that sometimes the magic doesn't scale and all of a sudden they start doing insane damage to you. Like, why? Now you're fucked, because now you're never going to cast another spell because I'm going to unjustly stagger your ass. That's what you fucking get. That's what you get for fucking with the Dragonborn. Slice, dice, once, twice, thrice. Come here. Don't heal. I didn't say you could heal. I didn't give you a moment of respite to heal. Fuck you. Suck it. And now I'm going to feast upon your corpse. Now Jasper Kitty feasts upon your dead corpse. This is what you deserve. What the hell? My health! Ah, who did that to me? Now I'm upset. Now I'm incredibly upset. Who did that? Who the fuck just did that? Who cast that goddamn spell? Who was it? Who the fuck was it? There's no one here. I have no idea who me with that spell. Was it you? Wait a minute, that's my teammate. Ah, shit, I almost killed her. Oops, he took the plunge. He did. I cast the wrong spell. Fucking shit. Oh, this is all going wrong. How messy. What a messy fight this is, man. What the fuck? I'm whiffed. What the fuck is... Where'd you come from? Maybe this was the one who was doing it. The Reaver Lord? Yeah, maybe this was the one. I'm getting, like, no Magicka back. Look. Why am I not getting any Magicka back? Bullshit. I told you it's an endless combo. They can't ever attack because I'm endless stagger with the sword. It doesn't even matter if they're, like, a damage sponge. They get fucked. There. You're done, bitch. Jeez. I said search the Reaver Lord. 250. It's not bad. 250 gold. Hey, catch. That's it. Time for your endless combo. Take it. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, take it. Execution. Oh, I didn't show it. Wait. Oh, it glitched. It glitched the execution animation. That sucks. <clears throat> I wanted to see it. Oh, big. some big potatoes came out of their ass. Oh, I didn't need the iron ingots. Shit. I grabbed the iron ingots. I didn't need them. I've seen enough death to last three lifetimes. Yet I never... 
never tire of a uh. good fight. What do you make of that? A novice chest. Big potato out the butt. That's the best when you defeat an enemy in a video game and big potatoes come out of their ass. It's the, the freshest. You know they're all nice and warm and in between the cheeks. <laughs> you know it's a nice fresh butt potato coming out. They just eat it right away. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Energized. Mm -hmm. There's an asshole over there. Do I prefer baked or mashed potatoes? Depends. I like both. Um, if I had an absolute choice between two, and we're talking like ultimate deluxe, I'd probably like a baked potato more. I do like a good garlic mashed potato with the red skins on them. That's a good shit. I need to require an item to open this. I don't have it. Shit. Does the book potato have sour cream and cheese? I mean, if you want to call it that. <laughs> if that's... I mean, sure. You could call it that if you want. I'm not sure. <laughs> You know, whatever floats your boat, man. <laughs> is there anything in here? No. So this is a looks like this is a dungeon for a quest. I don't have the key to open it. God damn it. <clears throat> damn it. Yeah, this sucks. I cleared the whole area and now there's nothing here because I just heard a quest. <clears throat> Alright. Well, it is what it is. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I get east and north up this way. We've already been up here. That's the Skull Village. So there might be more along the coast, perhaps. <clears throat> What's funny is I haven't found an Ash Spawn now. Now I need to fight an Ash Spawn for a mission, and I can't find one. I fought a hundred of them so far, and now there's like none, none here. Dun 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 dun. What do I like more for a game mechanic? Quick time events or lock picking or hacking? Oh god. I think quick time really is lame. Like quick time is good for for action and combat. It's not good for like skill checks and shit anymore. That shit's way way cliche now. Like I don't I I'm tired of that. I would say I do enjoy the lock picking in all the Bethesda games. <clears throat> As for other puzzles and stuff, like like for example the water puzzles in um like the first Bioshock. I think they were all right for a while, but then you get tired of them by the end of the game, for sure. What is this? Boozled's retreat. Boozled the unworthy. But either way, we have to try. Whether we succeed or not, it'll stir up some of the old blood in this crowd. I'm not going to leave if they aren't prepared. Then train them. What are we doing here? We should either get used to staying here. Or be preparing to retake the hall. Whoops! Put your that back. Do neither, Whoops! And I can't <laughs> stomach it. But your stomach isn't my problem. We we'll lack when I say we do, and not before. Well, you'd better say something, and soon. There's some kind of a quarrel going on here. Okay. 